Hey, Grant from I Mean Wireless here. In today's video, we're going to have a look at how report customization works in Hamina Network Planner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the reports option here and I'm going to create a new report. You'll see here we've also got previous reports that we can open as well. In this case, I've prepared this one earlier, which is named this is a test report for today. Nice and creative. Now, when we first get into the report, this is the stock standard base report. This is all the information that Hamina will provide you with. And from here, you can sort of customize it. So you can see here, you know, I could start by editing my bill of materials table. I've got uh, little options there. Um, I can rename this. I can also put some descriptors in there. I can change the logo, like I can upload my own you know, company logo here. And then down on the left hand side here, I've got sort of my table of contents. So I've got my Wi-Fi section with my different heat maps client view, I can switch to 3D to look at the building, things like that. And then I've also got ancillary radios. So, you know, if the access points have got BLE, Zigbee, or even ultra wideband, they're in their own respective sections, as well as the switching and cabling as well. Now, to customize from here, what I can do is I can click on the little pencil option, and then I can edit the pages. And so I can edit where the sections are going to sit, I can edit the subsections here as well. I can hide sub pages, I can hide entire sections. And then you'll also see here, I've got an option so I can actually add a custom page in and I can rename that Hamina page and then I can save that. And now I've got this Hamina page on the left-hand panel here, my table of contents, I can go into there and then I can go in and edit that. And so, you know, I've got a couple of rich text options here or I can switch it straight into Markdown um, and start typing away if I want. So nice and straightforward. Okay, so one of the things that we've got coming to a Hamina production push near you is the ability to have a bit more customization around the map view and the different layers that we've got here. So for instance, within Hamina, you can see with this map view and this map view could be, you know, coverage, secondary, tertiary, SNR, interference. I've got my APs visible here, right? Individual or holistic. Um, I've got my wall materials here, but we know that Hamina does, you know, the switching, it does the cable routing. So I may want to show that and switch that on by default. So when the stakeholder reviews the report, they will see that layer on as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on my layers filter up here. I'm going to move down here and I'm going to switch on cables. I'm also going to check the switches box. And then I'm going to go down one more time to the cable trays, which is in Planner Plus. And you can see now all of my cabling is now visible. And you know, this is in my, my report view. So if I'm creating the report, I've switched that on. And so now if I jump over to the report that the stakeholder will get, and I just hit refresh on my browser here, and we zoom in a little bit, you can see that now the stakeholder will be able to see where the cable tray is. They'll be able to see where the cabling is. They'll be able to see where the switch is also located as well. And so they've also got the ability to switch these layers or these visible layers on and off as well. But the default will be determined by the report creator, which gives you a lot more flexibility to be able to show off your hard work in the Hamina reports. Now, if we've already generated a report and customized it, it may look something like this. And so you can see here, I've already got a document history. I've added my own executive summary here and I've got a whole bunch of text in here with different findings and recommendations. I've got my bill of materials, I've put that in there, and then I've got the entire report body here. So it talks about all the infrastructure requirements and things like that. I've even got an installation procedure, so I can sort of go through here. I've inserted images, things like that, like how to install the access point, links to external vendor components, which by the way, I've taken these images from some vendor blogs. And then if we go down into the Wi-Fi section here, you'll notice that I've got my AP placement, right, which is you know pretty standard with the reports here in that 3D view that we've got. I've also got my coverage summary, so a summary of the methodology that went into this particular design. I've got the same for things like you know SNR as well as the actual SNR heat map, things like interference, data rate, as well as their respective summaries. And then I've also got things like my AP list, all of the radio details, and then I've got my important sort of client view here. You'll notice down here, I've got my switching and cabling, and I've shifted that up um, within the table of contents, and I've removed the BLE Zigbee and the ultra wideband um, components because this is outside of the scope of this particular report. That's what a custom report would look like. Now, if I wanted to, you know, to share this, like to get this in front of some stakeholders, 
it's pretty straightforward. I've got a share option here. I can click on that and I've got a online report which I can copy the link to and I can send that to some stakeholders. The nice thing with the online report is you do not need a Hamina license to view it. It basically just opens up in a web browser and you get a view only version of everything that we just sort of walked through before. I've also got a PDF link as well. So I've generated a PDF. And so, you know, if the customer or the stakeholder wanted to click on that, they would be able to download a PDF version of that as well, which is really nice. So what would a browser based report look like for the customer? If I click on here, this would be how a customer would review it. And so you can sort of see here, we've got all of that text in here. We've still got things like, you know, our AP placement. We've still got things like our coverage summary, but you can see here, in that left hand table of contents, I can't change or edit anything, right? I can just, it's view only. Um, and then, you know, I'm sure you've seen a PDF report before. If we send the PDF link, they can just download a PDF version of this as well. Let's go back to the template reports. So the nice thing with Hamina is that every time you create a report, it becomes a template within your reporting repository. Um, and so what we could do is we could just say, and what I'm going to do this time is instead of creating it and then having to add my own logo and add my own you know, text and things like that, I'm going to select it from my report customization that I've got here as well. And so from here, I'm going to click on that. And so that's the template I'm going to use. And then what that's going to do when I hit create is it's going to pull through all of the customizations that I've done from the other report that I showed you earlier, it's gonna bring it into this new version of the report. And you can see that here, it's brought through the logo, it's brought through the document history, the executive summary, you know, the bill of materials will be unique to the project itself, but the report body, the installation procedure, even things like the coverage summary, that will all get pulled through, but things like the AP placement, things like the coverage, the heat maps, that will all be unique to that new project that you're working on. So the nice thing with the template reports is you can basically create, you know, some boilerplate text one time, you know, insert your logo, do all of that sort of customization stuff. But otherwise, that is gonna save you a lot of time. And then, you know, you've got the option here for sharing. You know, you can create a link and you can create a link to the browser report or you could create a PDF version of it as well for sign off and project completion.